Children of the Corn 2, the final sacrifice. Never understood why a part two in a franchise would want to put final in the title, but whatever. Uh, this is my first time watching uh, this movie this month. Uh, I, I, as I mentioned in a previous video talking about the original Children of the Corn, I uh, was never really big into the series, hadn't seen many of them, but uh, I'm trying to familiarize myself with them uh, this month, and uh, I like this one. I really did. Uh, I thought it was a pretty good movie. In fact, I, I do think I kind of like it better than the first one, uh, even though it is kind of a rehash of, of the original movie. I mean, it's it's the same basic concept. Uh, small town, Galt, a uh, bunch of creepy kids uh, followed following this uh, leader who's a, another creepy kid. And they're doing creepy things and killing adults in sinister ways and gruesome ways. And that's pretty much the formula. And I, I think it works. And I think it works better in this one because maybe maybe it's a little bit more campy. Uh, so um, I'll, I'll say probably uh, spoilers from, from here on out. But, uh, you know, there's a bunch of silly scenes where, you know, the... Uh, old lady is killed and it looks like a house has fallen on her and she says oh what a world what a world like you know wizard of oz and uh the, the scene uh, with uh, uh, the voodoo doll and the man like gushing blood out of his eyes and things like that so there's there's cool stuff and i mean uh what's interesting about these children of the corn movies from, from what i've watched so far is that they do kind of seem to be a staple of the 90s rather than the 80s even though the, the original film the first film probably the best known film uh, came from 1984 the sequel didn't come until 1992 so that's a big gap of time uh yes especially in you know the horror world uh, that's an eternity uh, so to have a sequel uh, to this 80s film uh, emerge in the 90s and then this this uh, series take off um it's quite something and uh from number two on uh, they're all uh, dimension films uh, releases so uh, they're responsible for the bulk of the series um, and uh, uh, for the most part like from what i've seen so far it seems to be taken in i don't know the best possible direction uh, for for this concept but again it's, it's kind of like a rehash of the first movie except uh, basically the concept here is that uh, we have a father and son kind of on this little road trip the the father is uh, a reporter, an investigative journalist for kind of like this, you know, trashy magazine, you know, like a, 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 a rag, basically. Um, and they're investigating the events that occurred in the last film, which in the reality of this film just took place you know, a few days prior. Uh, so they're, they're staying over in, in the next town over and uh, trying to solve the mystery, basically. And, and that's basically the movie the the fathers, you know, it, it's kind of funny, like, the, the father and son, like, the whole kind of aspect to it is that, you know, they're trying to bond, um, and they kind of bond in a weird way over, like, they're both, like, trying to, to get with these women in, in this town, right? So, uh, the father uh, gets with uh, this uh, owner of this uh, motel that they're staying at, and the son is uh, uh, becoming romantically involved with uh, this girl, who's you ever see like the monsters how like the only the only normal character is the daughter like they're all the rest is, like frankenstein monster uh wolfman monster vampire and like she's just a normal girl that's like her compared to like all the other creepy kids in the movie uh but he's uh getting involved with her and uh the actress is uh christy clark who she looked really familiar when i was watching this movie like who is this uh and she's actually uh the sister from Nightmare on Elm Street 2, Freddy's Revenge, so a little piece of horror trivia for you there. Um, but, you know, it all, all kind of comes together as uh, in a similar way as uh, the first movie did. They're, they're trying to do their sacrifice and, and all that. And uh, again, there's cool special effects in the movie. Uh, being a 90s movie, it does have 90s effects. There's a really kind of cheesy and cool scene uh, where, where the one kid, uh, he's kind of like sucked into the cornfield monster's brain or something like that and he goes down this like crazy vortex or, or something like that very kind of cheesy 90s effects in, in that scene but I, I think it's pretty cool and it kind of adds to the charm uh it's it's an entertaining movie and, and i think um while the first movie uh it 
it, it does have a kind of campy aspect to it. Um, I think this one embraced it a little bit more, and I think the result is, is probably a better movie, in my opinion. Uh, so I enjoyed it quite a bit. Um, definitely recommend it. That's my review of uh, Children of the Corn 2, The Final Sacrifice. Thank you for watching. Be sure to comment, rate, subscribe, all the good stuff. And until next time, I'll see you later, and stay scared.